Alright, and we are back with Castlevania Aria of Sara. Let's play part 6. And, as I said, I farmed him. This is the jump kick ability I was telling you about before. You cannot get duplicates of his soul. And I was fighting him with the whip sword. If he's still here, I'll show you how I fought him. Basically, his tick, his kick just goes pretty much right past you. So yeah, he's not too difficult. That's, um... That area right there is for later. It's like one of the final areas you go to. Oops. Yeah, that's a great place to farm rippers. Oh, we're somewhere new. Oh, get him, get him. Ah, oh, that hurt. Basically, that mandrake you- that thing you saw was called a mandrake. I don't have enough damage, but his ability is really good. If you can get it, I would recommend it. Oh, oh, no. Wrong way. Alright. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Fortunately, he wasn't able to kill me right there. Yes, if you kick jump off of things, you can. Alright, I'm really lost. <laughs> oh no, don't do it, don't do it. Okay. I had too much fun with the kick jump. As it stands, I think I've been in this area a bit too long. And I need to uh, get back. I couldn't find the boss, and I need to explore the upper area a bit more because I know I'm missing one square. It's probably the square with the boss. Alright, I'm stuck in the water. Right. As you can see, at this point, it would be really beneficial for me to... Can I get over here? Because there's a lot of stuff over here. There's a way to do it. All 
Oh, here's a harpy up here. Um, yeah. Harpies kind of suck. By the way, if you're ever farming souls, make sure the soul hits you before you leave the room. A lot of times people like to rush, but then that can really bite you in the butt because you can leave the room before the soul hits you, and then it just disappears. Here we are. Here's the next section we're supposed to be at. I think. Oh, cutscene. Especially since I have magical powers. <laughs> Great. Yeah, there's a lot of people in this castle. You'd think Dracula's castle would be a bit more secluded. Nah. Luck is increased by four. It's definitely a lot better than four strength. Oh, I thought he was dead. This is where I originally farmed for Durgas. Or, yeah, Durga. There's another one. Oh god, I hate these. I don't even know what their power does. I don't know if I cared enough to ever get it. Nemesis? I don't know what Nemesis does either. <sighs> we found another teleport area. This is really good. It's going to speed up uh, travel times. Alright, apparently she just disappeared. So you want to kill every enemy, because there's always a chance you can get their soul, and it's experienced. Oh, what's that? Ancient belt. I've never seen this. Wait a minute, what? Holy crap, it gave me 8 defense? This is a pretty insane item. It's luck for you. Ah, health. That's good. Uh, at this point, oh, this is a great place to farm for the Minotaur. think yeah there's a secret back there I think when I end this video which I'm probably gonna end the video as soon as I get this secret samurai am I <laughs> all right oh god oh that was close yeah um, so I'm gonna head back to the save point. I'm gonna... Then I'm gonna end this video and I'm gonna farm this... I'm gonna farm the Minotaur because his item is plus 12 strength. Which is incredibly useful for boss fights. And that would give me something to switch to whenever we get into a fight. 
so I'm probably the place I'm gonna farm is at that secret room because I could just come out of that secret room and then smash him a few times and if I level up I'll tell you but uh, that should be that I'll see you guys next time I hope you enjoyed this has been Let's Play Castlevania Iris Sorrow Part 6. Goodbye.